Hey guys, so today's video is going to be interesting. I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup using my right hand. I know some of you don't know this because it's not something a lot of people pick up on my videos, but I'm actually a lefty. Um, I do everything with my left hand. My right hand is literally useless. I can't do anything with it. Today I'm doing the opposite hand makeup challenge where you do your full face of makeup using your opposite hand. And I'm doing the whole shebang, like all, like all of it, my eyebrows even. I'm even doing winged liner and falsies, which I don't even do that regularly to begin with, so imagine. So let's see how this is gonna go because I really cannot do anything with my right hand. It feels so awkward for me, but let's go ahead and get started on this makeup tutorial. So I'm gonna start off with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And if you hear construction going on, there's a lot of, I know I keep saying that in like all of my videos, but we are currently doing a lot of construction in the backyard, so. Please ignore the noises. And since I just did a brow routine, I'm just gonna quickly skim through this. I'm just gonna start. Let me see how, let me, let me, okay. Let me see how I hold it like this. Okay, so I do this. So I should be able to do it like this. I feel like I'm putting more pressure down. Let me zoom you in a little. I feel like I'm putting more pressure down with this hand. I feel like it's so hard for me to put light pressure. <laughs> Should we do up and Scooby Snacks? Man, fly girl and I can't relax. Only promise she's a movie star. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that. I mean, there are some like harsh little brush strokes in there, but we're just gonna move on. <laughs> oh my God, this eyebrow's even harder. That doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Could be a righty in no time. They even look semi-related. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom and I am going to just set them down. Lift them up a little bit. Make them feathery. Okay, to prime my skin, I am gonna be mixing two primers together. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Radiance with Hyaluronic Acid. This is brand new, this was just sent to me. And I am gonna mix this in a little bit with the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. And I'm gonna mix them both because even though I've never used this before on my face, when I swatch it on the back of my hand, it looks like it's a radiant primer, but there's not much moisture to it. So this one can give me the hydration I'm looking for. I know that's excessive, that seems like a lot of steps, but I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Add a little bit of this. Darn it. I put on this hand and I'm gonna mix it with this hand. Does that matter? Because I'm just mixing it. I guess I guess that does matter, right? Let me just... I'm just gonna blend that into my skin. Now I will be using a foundation I've never tried before and I'm actually really excited to try it. This is a pricey little fella. Dior Skin Forever Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect with sunscreen. It says it has SPF 30 and it also is supposed to control your shine. I don't really get shiny at all. The only reason I purchased this foundation is because of Jaclyn Hill. She talks about this foundation all the time. She says it's her absolute favorite, that it makes her skin look the nicest. So I caved and I bought it. But I got the shade 21. <laughs> Tiny man. And it's too yellow for me. Like, I'm gonna show you. It's like, you can't tell there, but it's like very, it's kind of too deep and too yellow. So I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation in the shade white, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this, just a tiny bit, to lighten up the color. And I'm just gonna apply that to my face. I know I'm doing this with my left hand, but I did the same thing and I poured it on my freaking right hand. I'm so silly. But I'll blend it in now with my right hand. This foundation has a very strange scent. It smells very perfumey, almost too perfumey. I'm a little bit nervous about that. I hope it does not break me out. But yes, I'm just gonna pounce this into the skin. This is my Equal Tools uh, sponge. I don't know the specific name of it. At the, oh my gosh, this foundation is, is it the foundation or is this my sponge? I almost put that up my nostril. Oh my gosh, this has a very strong scent. 
I've been blending this foundation out for like 10 seconds. It hasn't even been that long and my arm hurts. I feel like because I don't lift this arm much, it's just not as strong. By the way, in case you were wondering, this isn't a first impressions kind of video or anything like that, but since we're already here, I think I should have added another drop of that white foundation, but the finish of this foundation is actually really nice and it does not feel tacky. My pores are actually looking extremely visible at the moment and I think that might have to do with the Smashbox primer I put first. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the Milani Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer. I have been loving this recently. I don't know why I can't stop using it. I'm in the shade 02 Light and I'm gonna squeeze a little bit onto the sponge like that and I'm gonna just draw some of this. Well, I mean, you know how I put on concealer. Sometimes I feel the need to explain every little step. When I forget, you can see. You can see the step. I'm gonna take some of this onto my eyelid because I'm just gonna use this to prime my eyes. I really, really, really love this concealer a lot, but I do not like this sponge applicator thing. I'm gonna take this little Tarte Unicorn brush and I'm just gonna blend that in. This concealer kind of dries fast. Ow, just stab my eye. And I'm just blending that in. I feel like I'm being really rough. Let me try to relax. This hand like just puts more pressure on my face. I don't know why. And like it hurts. Why does my hand hurt? I mean, I work out three times a week. I do arms. I mean, I have been slacking on the gym. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't done arms in a couple weeks. I'm gonna take some of this concealer and I'm gonna put some on my nose, in between my eyebrows, just to highlight the rest of my face since this foundation was a little dark. Okay, so to set that concealer down, I'm gonna be using a powder I've never tried before. This is like half a first impressions. This is the Kat Von D Locket Blotting Powder in the shade Light. And I'm not sure if this is meant to just set your face. I don't know if you can use this to set underneath your eyes. I don't know if it's too heavy, but we're gonna try doing both. When I swatch this, this feels so soft and it feels like slightly creamy, but very finely milled. I don't know, I really like the texture on my finger. <laughs> oh my gosh, this did a really good job of like blurring my pores right here. It doesn't feel or look like a thick powder at all. Which I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit concerned about because a lot of Kat Von D's Locket products are made for like oily skin. All right, now for some bronzer. This is the NARS Sun Wash Diffusing Bronzer and this one is in the shade Laguna. They have a few different shades, but of course, my favorite is Laguna. And I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Pointed Powder Brush. And these bronzers, you really gotta dig in there to get some good pigmentation, which I don't mind because they are very buildable bronzers, but it never looks, it never looks too much. So I'm just gonna, this feels so weird. I'm just gonna, Contour and bronze like this. Oh, is that too high? Wait, try to get into the hollow right here. This feels so natural to me already. Why does my arm hurt? <laughs> what is happening? Light pressure, light pressure, light pressure. That looks pretty decent. I do think I applied a lot, but I feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure with my right hand. I don't know why, like I'm like hurting my face. Just gonna bronze my neck because, well, you guys know, you were here a few minutes ago. You saw what happened. You know what I think will take this look up a notch and make it look even better? Is if I bake, because I'm not gonna lie. I might have gone overboard with the bronze. By the way, do you like my, uh... I'm gonna take my Fiona Styles Invisible Finish Loose Setting Powder in White Stone, and I'm gonna bake my face. I'm gonna take that same Equal Tools sponge, and I'm gonna dip it into this. I feel like I know how to bake. Okay, so if I was like this, and really like this. This is easier. Wham! Oh, 
One is higher than the other. Son of a... Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that and move on to blush. I'm gonna take my Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. And it is this really gorgeous, like, everyday shade. This color is so beautiful. And I'm gonna take my Linda Halberg 310 brush. And with a light hand, because holy crap, this blush is pigmented. I love that color. And Essence is like $2. And I'm just gonna wipe off this uh, bake thing. And now I feel like I need a little bit more bronze. I'm gonna try not to bring it past the bake we just did because that would defeat the purpose. But I'm just gonna add a little bit more here. Oh my God, you know what would be crazier? Doing your makeup with your opposite hand and without a mirror. That's a double challenge right there. Watch that already be a thing. Going in with my highlight, I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Radiant Lights. It's so crazy how it's not second nature to us to just use like both hands. Why is it that we use one hand way better than the other? Why is that? I'm sure there's a reason. How do I, okay. I'm gonna add a little bit on my nose. Okay, now we can jump into eyes. This video is already long and I haven't even started my eyes. Eyes, I'm gonna take this little MAC palette I recently bought at Ulta. By the way, MAC is being sold at Ulta now. Does anybody else feel really weird about that? Like, this is the Dusky Rose Times 9 eyeshadow palette. I wanted to get it because it had these really pretty pinky brown shades. I'm gonna take this fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna dip it into this middle shade right here. And I'm gonna start buffing this color into my crease in circular motions. I feel like I'm not getting the smooth flow I normally do. Like I'm usually just like ha 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 in my crease. Boom, bam, done. But I feel like I'm taking a little bit longer because my hand is not letting me like be smooth and flowy. It's like kind of stiff. <laughs> Now that my arm feels like it's gonna fall off, let's move on to the next color. I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna use that to highlight the bra bone. Very highlighty shade. And then I'm gonna go over it with this color right here. This one has less of a sheen, it's a little bit more satin. So my camera stopped recording and I don't know when it stopped recording, so I just took this color right here and I just applied that to my entire lid. I'm gonna go back in with that first brush and I'm just gonna blend out the harsh edges. Now I'm gonna take this bronze color right here on my Zoeva 227 and I'm just gonna pack that color on the outer corners. I just wanna add a little bit of depth to the outer corners and make it look a little bit more smoky. I'm gonna bring this color into the crease a little bit. Might as well, cause I, my hand just did it on its own, so I went with it. And then I'm gonna go back in with that lid shade and I'm just gonna go over it one more time. I'm gonna go back into that crease shade we used, blend some more because <laughs> things are looking a little unblended here in the crease. For my lower lash line, I'm just gonna take that first shade we used in the crease and I'm gonna buff that. It feels so awkward doing the lower lashes, oh my gosh. And then with a tiny, tiny little pencil brush, this one's from Zoeva, it's the 240. I'm gonna take that really dark shade and I'm gonna be really precise with this. I only want it like right here. 
as close to the lashes as possible. And I'm not gonna drag it too far in. I'm gonna keep it mainly on the outer parts. All right, so that is everything I'm gonna do on the eyes in terms of eyeshadow. I'm gonna apply some eyeliner to my waterline. I'm gonna tight line with this as well. This is the Arden CN Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner in the shade Coffee. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm cheating. I'm like holding it with my left hand off. Oh, okay. I am so rough with my right hand. This face I'm making, I know, I, ju I just can't help it. It's like really hard to put on eyeliner. Because I normally hate to tug at my eyes and I don't want to do that, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply some liquid liner. This is gonna be something. I'm gonna use my M Cosmetics Illustrative Eyeliner. This is the brush tip version. I'm probably gonna speed up this part because I, I'm sure it's gonna take me an hour. So I need to concentrate and let's do this. I messed up already. It was going so well, I totally just messed that up. Damn, I was so proud of myself for a second. Let me see if I can fix that. This eye is even harder. Okay, so even though that looks absolutely god awful, I thought it was gonna look worse. For falsies, I'm gonna be applying these from the brand Eyler, the 155 lash. I think these might be a little bit longer than my eye shape. Okay, now I cut too much off. We'll work with it. I'm gonna apply some House of Lashes glue. Oh, excuse me. Oh, this is impossible. Okay. Not bad. Ay, Dios mío. Okay. Espérate, espérate. Oh my god. Okay. I'm just gonna let that sit there and I'm gonna let it dry completely before I mess with it. So I'll be right back. So to cover up the line of the falsies, I'm just gonna take the liquid liner and cover that up. I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara. This is the MAC Bold and Bad Lash. And I'm only gonna take a little bit of this just to mix my lashes in with the falsies. And then if you take off this little red cap, it has a lower lash mascara. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so that completes the eyes. Considering I did it with my right hand, I think it came out pretty decent. So to finish off this extremely long video, I am just gonna apply my lip color. I'm gonna take this ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. I haven't tried these yet, but supposedly it's like a super, super, super thin liquid lipstick. It's almost like a liquid to powder feeling, and it's not supposed to be as pigmented as it looks in the tube. It's supposed to give you like the bl bl blotted look, only a matte version. This formula is such a strange feeling. I don't know how to explain this feeling. It feels like there's nothing on my lips, but it feels kind of like powdery. 
I would say it's kind of like their liquid lipsticks, but a thinner version. I don't know how to explain this formula at all. I have to play around with all the colors, and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> I want to lighten this color up a bit. I think it's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to take the Outrageous Plump Effect Gloss in 02 from Sephora. I love these little glosses. I don't think it's going to get any lighter, but... I did a little. Okay guys, so that completes this video. This was my full face, full glam makeup tutorial using my right hand. I think it turned out alright. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think about this. And also, let me know if you want me to do any more challenges in the future. Leave your requests for like fun challenges like this down below. I'd love to do some more. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I gotta have free people. Oh, scared me. I had a piece of cauliflower stuck in my tooth this whole time. Oh. Let's just kiss till we're naked, baby. Versace on the floor. <laughs> <laughs>